let's build an agentic rack which addresses the following two issues the first one is how the user query is formulated now we know the vector store contain embeddings based on the chunks or the documents which are in this affirmative voice uh, meaning a regular text like this okay whereas the user query is often a question okay so the tone or the semantics of uh, them uh, is slightly different so what can happen is for example let's say we have two documents in the vector store one is very relevant to the user query the other one still relevant but not so relevant okay as compared to the first one but the first one is in affirmative voice the second one is in this question slash interrogative uh, uh, form so when we query the semantic similarity the second one might get high score as compared to the first one because they, those are in the same uh, interrogative form okay so we may miss, miss the context which is much more relevant than the other one okay so we risk of missing relevant information that's issue number one and the second issue is the user query might be complex requiring more number of context than what we said let's say we set only the top two documents to retrieve but the query is so complex that it require more information or maybe the user query contain multiple sub queries requiring uh, more than two uh, contexts okay so those are the two issues we are going to address with this agentic rag now how do we do to address the first issue we are going to reformulate the query so that it is not in the affirmative sorry it is not in this interrogative but affirmative voice okay the second one the agent self query meaning the agent can retrieve the documents multiple times to make sure that the extracted context is complete to answer uh, the user query okay so those are the uh, two techniques uh, we are going to implement all right we will be using uh, hugging face transformers uh, agents now we need a data set so let's use this hugging face docs uh, which contain all the data sources relevant to hugging face the blocks uh, um, the user documents uh, developer documents uh, so on and so forth everything okay so this is how it looks like uh, basically it's a text uh, so each text we are going to convert uh, uh, sorry uh, these are the posts and then uh, the source of the document okay and this part of the code it's very standard at the end of it we are simply building a vector store using all the text from this data set okay if you see it's all standard uh, some of langchain libraries uh, fais uh, for computing uh, 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 the embeddings and uh, yeah so we use recursive character splitter uh, that's to chunk the documents uh, into characters of uh, 200 with an overlap of 20 so it's it's very standard but if anything is not clear uh, do let me know all right okay the most important one is building a tool retriever tool uh, which is going to do the two tasks we discussed okay all right so a retriever tool give it a name and we give a good description as we might give multiple tools to an agent the agent will figure out which tool to use based on this description uh, only so here we are saying using semantic similarity retrieve some documents from the knowledge base that have the closest embeddings to the input query okay all right and then uh, the input is going to be the query which is the text okay now here the query to perform this should be semantically close to your target document and here is the key part use affirmative form rather than a question okay to address the first issue we are reformulating the user query in this affirmative form instead of the question or interrogative form in its original form okay and the output is obviously going to be text which is the context all right so the retriever tool it takes the vector database and the main one is uh, this forward function which is where uh, uh, the tool or agent uh, action happens okay all right so we are doing the semantic similarity search uh, and retrieving top seven documents using the reformulated query here okay all right and then so we need an llm in the form of this llm engine hugging face uh, it has this inbuilt hugging face engine and for the agent we will be using this reason and act json agent which is a general purpose agent okay now using this hugging face engine uh, it's super easy we can simply access an llm running on hugging face compute 
okay but if we want to use other llms we need to define uh, uh, the engine okay so i'm going to use uh, openai llm so here we define openai engine uh, which is basically this uh, chart completion function and this code is provided by the hugging face you so you don't need to modify anything uh, uh, unless you want to uh, change maybe the default model as well as uh, the temperature but leave it as it is so once we define the openai engine uh, we can define an llm uh, we are going to use gpt4 mini and we have already defined the retriever tool so we instantiate the retriever tool and here we are defining our agent okay so we are giving only one tool uh, this is a list because uh, we have the option to give multiple tools to the agent uh, in this case only the retriever tool and then uh, the llm engine now this is most important the reason is because this agent is autonomous it can remember we said the agent query, query the database as many times as it want uh, uh, here to extract the complete context now if we don't set let's say the user asked a question which is not relevant to uh, the vector store then what might happen is the agent keep querying the vector index to extract the relevant information because it cannot find it will retry and that loop can go infinitely so whenever we use agents it we should put some some safety limits and in this case we are saying the agent can repeat its tasks up to four number of times okay all right now to evaluate uh, which one the agentic rack or the standard rack which one is giving better results uh, using the same document uh, sources uh, hugging face uh, they have compiled uh, a qa data set uh, okay so this is how it looks like so here we have the question uh, the context and the ground truth are the correct answer okay so this is human curated data so the answer is the ground truth okay now we don't have to worry about uh, the rest of it but uh, uh, again uh, we here we have the uh, scores for how relevant the context uh, so and so forth are okay all right mm. Uh, we are not going to use hugging face llms uh, or the llms running on hugging face but if you want uh, you can log in and use those llms all right now so we will be going over all these questions so this data set has about 63 questions but as you can see here i filtered it to only one question uh, for the demo purpose okay but what we do to evaluate the agentic versus standard rag is we go over all the questions okay all the 60 odd questions one by one we take the question okay and then we have this prompt okay prompt which include the question now here we are addressing the first one uh, the first issue okay so using the information contained in your knowledge which you can access with the retriever tool we don't need to really specify this because the agent will figure out but uh, uh, i mean if we can make the agent job as easy as possible okay all right the key part is uh, somewhere here make sure you have covered the question completely by calling the retriever tool several times with semantically different queries okay let's understand this so we are authorizing the agent to query the vector store multiple times if needed to be able to to extract the context to answer the question completely okay by calling the retrieval tool several times and another key point is with semantically different queries so here we here is where the query reformulation is happening okay the query get reformulated and also uh, it can query multiple times okay now your query should not be questions but affirmative sentences okay so rather than how i load a model from hugging face in b16 format the query is load a model from the hub b16 weights okay as you see this one is in question or interrogative form whereas this one is in affirmative form so those two issues we are addressing with this enhanced question slash uh, 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 prompt okay so once we have the question uh, so we run the agent okay and we collect the response from the uh, agent okay so we already know the question uh, sorry this is the agent response and this is the ground truth coming from the uh, data set the qa data set okay so this is the data set all right so for every question we collect these three variables actually one variable we already know the question and the ground truth uh, from the agentic rack we are extracting uh, or the generating the answer okay so we just create a list here uh, to collect uh, the response for all the uh, questions okay which we are doing in this loop okay all right and here is the first example we have only one of course so we have the question uh, the ground truth answer 
the source not, not important for evaluating but here is the generated answer okay and then similarly um here we are not using cohere here i can comment this so again using the same open ai llm but this time we are running the standard drag right not agentic one so we need an llm uh, so we are using open ai client and sim as before we are going over all the questions but this time the prompt is the standard prompt okay it doesn't talk about the question reformulating the question to affirmative form and it doesn't uh, talk about querying the vector store multiple times to extract the full context all right so uh, you can read uh, none of that is mentioned here okay the standard drop all right uh, the message uh, the chart completion uh, we get the response uh, similar to before we have the query the ground truth, uh, the generated answer and the ground truth answer again collect them into a list okay so after this we will have two lists each containing the question ground truth and the response from the agentic rack and here also we have the question answer and the response from uh, the standard rack okay and this is how uh, it looks like and finally we want to evaluate which has performed well right so here we have we, we are going to use another llm uh, for the evaluation purpose now it is very simple we will be using this core rubrics meaning we say hey this is my question this is the response generated by a system which could be agentic rack or the standard rack and then this is the actual answer okay use these three pieces of information to find out how good this answer is addressing this question and compare that against the ground truth okay so give it a score like one two three if one two three if one is the bad score and three is the best score so if the response is completely complete accurate and factual give it a score of three if it's incomplete inaccurate uh, not factual give it a score of one okay now in these points uh, we are asking for a feedback why it gave a score in a certain way so and so forth but uh, uh, we don't have to worry about that all right um yeah so we are going over both the agentic rag output and the standard rag output going over each question taking these three pieces of information i'm evaluating okay so in this part of the code we are just uh, aggregating the results so that we can have two numbers uh, to compare uh, against each other but again if it is not clear uh, do let me know okay now as i said i ran this experiment only on one question and i don't have paid account on hugging face uh, so it ran into this uh, error uh, just saying i need a paid account uh, but uh, don't worry uh, but the others are the hugging face uh, they have run the uh, full experiment and they found out that the agentic rack uh, gave an accuracy score of 78.5 percent as compared to the standard rack score 70 percent so that's an improvement of over 8.5 percent uh, with really very simple uh, uh, changes to the standard rack okay so uh, this is where uh, this is what we have done right uh, to summarize we have addressed two issues one we have reformulated the query from interrogative form to affirmative form so that the semantic similarity we compute uh, is uh, more accurate okay and the second one we gave the agent the flexibility to query the vector store multiple times if needed to extract the complete context to be able to comprehensively answer the question okay that's all for this video uh, thank you very much